Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Superman Lower Season 4. Today we're going to be answering some of your questions in regards to the upcoming season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos later this year. Okay, so we're going to be talking about Superman Lois today. We're going to be talking about some of the theories that you guys have been commenting about recently on my Superman Lois videos. So we're going to be breaking those down, talking about them bit by bit. We got kind of like three or four main topics, and it's all kind of to do with how some of our main characters are going to be evolving this season. And obviously this will be me talking in the context of potentially Superman dying at the start of the season because that's been heavily teased and we know from the new trailer that was released by the CW recently you can go check that video out it's up on the channel right now but we know that Superman is going to be facing Doomsday in the first episode in the premiere of season 4 and so it's very likely that the two of them will kill each other in the process of that fight and so potentially for two or three episodes we could go without Superman. Also, it was revealed a couple of days ago that the season four premiere will be a two hour premiere. So it'll be episode one and two. So that's a very exciting way to start off mid-October. And so yeah, let's go ahead and get into today's main topic. So I'm kind of paraphrasing on some of your questions, but I've kind of collated some of the stuff that I've seen recently on the channel that has been asked. Okay, so Michael on YouTube says, I just really want Jonathan to get his powers. And then he goes on to talk about Jordan, and we'll talk about Jordan in a minute. So Jonathan, will he get his powers in this season? Is there any chance that finally his powers emerge? So there's always the slight chance that that's going to happen. Obviously in season one we were thinking Jonathan's going to be the one with the powers but they went for the twist, they went for the brother who was the non-athletic one, the one that most likely didn't look like he was going to get powers, that being Jordan of course, but they went with that in the end. And you have to realise like with them being twins, they have the same rough DNA, so he definitely has Kryptonian with inside him, so there's always the chance that that will surface. And if the writers find a good story for him, I'm sure they're going to do that because there is the possibility. They've opened that door. They left it open since season one, since he was born, really, because there's always the chance that it can surface and he's just, you know, late to getting powers compared to Jordan. And so do I think he's going to get powers, suit up, fight alongside Jordan this season? I'm going to say more likely not, no. However, there's always the chance. I'm not going to deny that right here and right now. But what do you guys think? Do you think there is any chance Jonathan is going to have powers in Season 4, considering it's the final season? Okay, so Michael goes on to talk about the fact that he wants Jordan to get a proper suit in this season. Now, that's something that a lot of you have been commenting about in the recent weeks. And that's, will Jordan actually get a Superboy costume? Will he suit up properly? And not have this kind of prototype suit that he was given last season. So I think more likely than not, especially with Superman being dead at the start of the season, potentially, keep on having to say that, I think he has to get a suit. Maybe it's going to be someone like John Henry Irons that's going to make the suit for him because the two of them, John Henry Irons, Natalie and Jordan, are going to be extremely important for those protecting Smallville, protecting Metropolis, because they're the ones that have, you know, the great suits or the powers. And so Jordan is definitely going to have to step up this season. And even with the return of his dad, if Superman does come back from the dead, he's going to be weakened. He's not going to be full strength straight away. So he's going to have to essentially replace Superman. And so I believe you're going to see him going around and doing superhero duties where Superman would normally do that at the beginning of the season. Now, when Superman returns, yeah, they're probably going to be fighting side by side, and it would just make a whole lot of sense if he got a suit this season. I really do hope they pay that off, because that's been a question that we've been asking the showrunners, the writers, since, like, when he first got powers. So, obviously, season one, he was just kind of blooming, he just got the powers, he was figuring it out. Season two, he got better. And season three, you saw him being more confident. He had his own rough, like, prototype suit. 
and he was going out, he exposed himself to the world, so now that he's known, surely he can take that next step and, you know, wear the costume and be out in the public and be the new kind of Superman while Superman's gone, because you can probably expect the death of Superman is probably going to be realised by the rest of the world with Superman's absence, and potentially he's going to have to step in and fill Superman's boots. So, yeah, that's the main two questions that people have been asking recently. I don't think Jonathan's going to get powers, it's more unlikely, but I think it's very, very likely that Superboy is going to get a suit in this final season. Now, there's also been some questions about Lois, and will she ever get powers and become Superwoman? So that's a big thing in the comics. At times, Lois has become Superwoman, she has got powers. Obviously, there's not much precedent to suggest she's going to get powers because she is just a human. Obviously, in the comics, it's different. But so far on the show, she's just normal. The only version of Superwoman we've kind of seen is Lana from another Earth, where obviously she was kind of from that bizarre Earth. She had powers. She was great. And we also saw an alternate Jonathan with powers. So obviously, that is, you know, precedent for those two characters and the fact that, you know, they look exactly the same as our characters, and they did have superpowers. So, will Lois ever get powers in the show? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say she's not going to be Superwoman. I think her main focus in this season, as was teased at the end of last season, is going to be fully on Lex Luthor. So, Lex is the main villain of the season. He's going to be in almost every episode out of the 10 episodes. And so, she's going to have to fully focus on number one, protecting her family, protecting her own life, because Lex is coming after her. That is his ultimate goal, as teased last season. He's getting rid of Superman so that Lois has no protection. That was why he created Doomsday. And so Lois is going to be in the crosshairs of Lex Luthor this season. And so she's going to have to find out a way to lock him up and, you know, put all of his allies away. We know we're going to get some different versions of his allies throughout the season that we haven't seen on Superman Lois yet, kind of like alternate versions of Eve Tessmacher that we saw on Supergirl. So, and so, as I alluded to, Lana, let's talk about Lana. So there is always the chance that, as I previously talked about, she came in and she had superpowers from the bizarro version of herself. So in the final season, is there a chance that she could get powers? Probably again, the answer is no, and that's just, I guess when you think logically because I don't think they're going to introduce many more characters or make many big changes especially with someone like Lana she's only going to be in like two or three episodes absolute maximum and that's because she's not a series regular on the show she's not there every single episode and it is a shortened season it's 10 episodes it's not like 16 15 like they normally would do on Superman Lois so yeah we don't really have much of the time and the focus is definitely going to be on stopping Lex Luthor, focusing on the Kemp family, wrapping up the storylines to do with the other X-series regulars who are now back, and they're going to be in like two or three episodes maximum. So final question, and this is kind of just collated from a bunch of you guys who have just asked questions, and so will there be any final crossovers in Superman Lois? Well, We've talked about one previously, we talked about Tom Kavanagh, that has seemingly been confirmed by Tom himself. I mean, there is always the chance that maybe he just let slip and he said it kind of wrong and maybe that's not going to happen. But Tom Kavanagh is supposedly going to be showing up in the final episode of Superman Lois Season 4. So will he play Reverse Flash? Will he play, you know, a version of Harrison Wells? Will he play a new character? That remains to be seen, but that is looking like the only crossover we're getting in the final season, which quite honestly, I would take because the showrunner has been adamant that the Arrowverse is kind of off limits for them and that, you know, they want to stay separate. They've made that clear since season two. Yeah, you saw John Diggle, but they said that's not the Arrow John Diggle. That's him from our Earth. And so with Tom Kavanagh, could it be someone new? I think that's kind of likely. However, I think having a Flash crossover with Tom's version of Harrison Wells is even more unlikely. So I'm going to say probably going to be a new character, but let me know what do you guys think about that and do you think we'll get any final cameos before the end of the show? 
So that pretty much does it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos later this year. And you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.